Okay, so ignoring the fact that the title of this video is called Inverse Poisson, if I'm given the question on why there have been volcanic eruptions in 20 of the last 50 years, I immediately know that's a Poisson distribution because they've given me a time interval. And a time interval like that would not be required in a binomial or normal. The eruptions in whatever could not be uniform because they don't happen all the time. It's unlikely it's going to be a triangular distribution. So straight away, I've been given enough information to be able to work out that this is probably a Poisson distribution. And therefore, I've been told that the probability that my event, which is an eruption, is bigger than or equal to 1, is 20 out of 50, or 0.4. Now that's great for doing an inverse Poisson, because an inverse Poisson requires them to give you either the probability of nothing happening, or the probability of one or more events happening, because anything else you can't solve. So that's a nice clue in the question to help you. And if I know, want to know the probability of nothing happening, that's the same as 1 minus the probability of something happening, which is x is greater or equal to 1. So in this case, I know the probability of nothing happening is 0.6. Now if we go back to our formula for a Poisson, that is e to the minus lambda, lambda to the power of our number of events, which is 0, over 0 factorial. And if I think about that, that works because if I think about lambda to the power of 0, that's the same as 1. And if I think about 0 factorial, one of our conditions when we did combinations was 1. So therefore, suddenly, my horrible formula that was impossible to solve has been reduced down to that 0 0.6 equals e to the minus lambda. Now, if I want to undo this function e, I've got to use the natural log, which is ln. So I'm going to log both sides. And if I log a pet with something of a power, the power comes in front. And that was something you learned in level 2 algebra. So therefore, I get the log of, nat of e. Now, if I think about that, the opposite function, and to do the opposite of ln e, that is the same as getting 1. So now I've got ln 0 0.6 equals minus lambda. So I'm going to use the ln button on my calculator, which is 2 up from my own button. And I get that ln 0 0.6 is minus 0 0.5108 which equals minus lambda. So lambda equals 0 0.5108. And I've just answered my first question. My first question, what's the mean eruption of the year? It's 0 0.51. So that's cool. So now we come on to our working out our part B. And our part B is, what is the probability in the next five years there are no eruptions? So I need to scale my lambda so I've got one year is 0 0.5108. So I've got to times that by 5. And that gives me my new lambda, which is 2.554. So now I'm going to do a Poisson PDF with... 2.554, comma, the number of outcomes I want, which is 0. So therefore, that gives me my probability that x equals 0 in 5 years, which is 0 0.07. Seven, seven, eight to four dp. Done. Inverse Poisson. It's always the same. It's always easy.